Welcome to our daily devotion. The Methodist Church of Barbados invites you to sing, pray, and worship with us as we declare God's glory and celebrate His mighty acts. Just thee and all 
rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to Heavenly Father, I come before you in humble gratitude to give your name all the praise, honor, and glory. Hallowed be your name, for you are the one God, and I adore and love you. There is no one in heaven or on earth like you. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Lord, my heart cries out to you in appreciation for your wisdom, goodness, and mercy towards me. Lord, I want to thank you for Jesus, whom you sent to save me from my sins, for all your blessings that I cannot count, especially the blessing of a long life of 100 years old. I thank you, Lord, for being on the mountain and down in the valley in every aspect of my life. Father, I want to thank you for my spiritual leaders, my family, friends, and my brothers and sisters in Christ for the joy and love they are bringing to my life on a daily basis. Thank you for protecting me from harm and danger and for the daily provision of my material needs. Heavenly Father, I know that I have not always done the things that I ought to do. I ask you to pardon and forgive me and help me to listen to your voice as you guide me along life's way. Forgive my faults and failures, Lord, and for a missing opportunity to win souls for your kingdom. Forgive me for judging others wrongfully and for being hesitant to love the unlovable. Tonight, Lord, I bring before you the widows and the widowers, orphans, the homeless, the hungry, the naked, those sleeping on bus, stop, at bus stops and on sidewalks. I pray for the weary, the lonely, those who are ill at home or in hospitals, those going through the valley of the shadow of death. I pray your healing touch on them, your provision and comfort for them. I pray for those who are taking care of the sick, that they would do it in love. I pray for all ministers of the gospel, that God would surround them with his care, love, and protection. Bless and strengthen your servant who will bring the word tonight. All these mercies I ask in Jesus' precious name. Amen.
The gospel is taken from Luke chapter 1, reading from verses 46 to 55. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit have rejoiced in God my Saviour. For he has regarded the lowly state of his maid servant. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. For he is the mighty, has done great things for me, and his and holy is his name, and his mercy is on those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has put down the mighty from their th thrones and exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy. As he spoke to our forefathers, to Abraham and to his seed, forever. This is the gospel of Christ. Thanks be to God, our King.